Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday's episode of Science with Gonzalez. And today we got a lot of exciting news to catch you up on. Uh, and I've got a resource for you. So I reminded you that Monday is World Water Day. And this year's theme of the United Nations World Water Day uh, campaign is valuing water. And the question is, what does water mean to you? So I put this uh, graphic on the class craft um, class announcement message. And I also put a link to that PDF I showed you on Monday, I believe it was, uh, how to get. Well, taking a look at this PDF here, which is really cool, uh, it tells you the basics, and it just tells you in order to participate in this year's campaign, they're looking for what water means to people, and, and we're sharing under the hashtag water to me. Uh, and they break it down into five different ways to value water. We can value the water in our very own um, natural ecosystems, natural water. Chimicum Creek, which we did extensive testing and we wrote conclusions to prove scientifically that it's doing well and it's healthy and it's a great uh, environment for the fish. Of course, we can't forget water infrastructure without good treatment, the water that leaves our home in the form of sewage uh, can be overpowering to the environment. So water gets treated so that it goes back into nature as, as pure water instead of water with all our feces and, and urine. Of course, drinking water is something we take for granted here. I know I can get water out of the tap without even filtering and drink it and not have to worry. 2.2 billion people on the planet cannot say that. Uh, they don't have access to water. One sixth graders publishing a post on the water shortage in Mexico. He's learning that half, 65 million people in Mexico do not have access to enough water. So he's going to raise awareness to that problem. Of course, we learned from the human water cycle presentation, the Pear Deck I did for you, uh, we need water for food and agriculture. All our food requires a huge amount of water. And of course, energy. Well, uh, here in, in Jefferson County, 80% of the electricity we get comes from the Bonneville Dam. So it's green energy, it's renewable, doesn't uh, burn fossil fuel, but it's all water, water powered. Um, so industry, business, employment, and the fifth one, which I don't know how many of you actually uh, do recreational activities on water, whether you go boating or fishing or swimming or, or you do water sports, then it means that to you. So pick some of those and just add that to your PSA somewhere so that people can see what water means to you. And I'm slowly getting to sharing as many as I can. And I'm going to put all your links, uh, whether I share yours on the 6th grade World Solutions blog or not, you will still be featured here. And I will share these links with the Ocean Guardian School project because that's uh, one of the ways we help is by participating in this project every year. So I've been using my Twitter and sharing on Facebook. And, you know, yesterday I, I shared um, Deacon's post because his was very well written. I mean, great job there, Deacon. And you had an innovative solution. And I got a uh, comment from another teacher saying, this is great. Such an original, inventive solution. It's always exciting when we get those. Uh, because it catches people attention and of course your meme there was uh, very good so Zachary and um, Deacon I want you to know that one day of me promoting your blog posts 
Zachary has had 86 views and Deacon has had 81. And I just a few minutes ago shared yours, Rosie. I changed the title to Look at the Lovely Sea because what an awesome title that was on your meme. Uh, it's already had four views. And yeah, I just shared that one on Twitter. So it should be at the very top of my feed. And there it is. That's, that's what the tweet looks like. Uh, a lovely sea. Because you wrote, look at the lovely sea there. So I use that as the image. And notice I've got the World Water Day and Water to Me. Plus I put side chat. And I'm asking people to give your works a read. And if you click on the Water to Me hashtag and you go to the latest, you can see what other people are doing. Here's one in uh, Spanish. Well, well, that doesn't look like Spanish. It's something from Barcelona, which is in Spain, but that looks like Portuguese or Italian. I can't, I can't even tell. There's, there's ours. And there's one, oh, that's, that's an ad from Paramount. I know I get ads. Here's another picture, Water to Me, from Michigan for World Water Day. Uh, hey, that's a nice idea if you want to make a, a graphic on Adobe Spark to add. But there's something from India. Uh, so you can, you know, do a search just for the hashtag. You don't have to have a Twitter account to look up hashtags. But you do want to go to latest. What does water mean to you? From 11th Hour Racing. And then people having meetings all over the world. Uh, and, and you'll see this in different languages. And there's this one person. To me, water is harmony and preservation in nature. What does water mean to you? Um... Here's a World Water Day letter from this young young lady for World Water Day 2021. Uh, it's awesome. It's happening. We've got public service announcements. You know, keep them coming. Today's the deadline, but you know what? If you don't finish, you're behind, but you can keep working on it because the point is to do it, even if you're not going to be done today on time. Uh, for those who are done... I, I, I do have that other activity you're working on, so you might just keep working on that. Because I will extend the deadline. This is important. You know, Monday's World Water Day, so if you can have it done by Monday, we will have it done and I will publish them on World Water Day. I'm still picking the ones that uh, I'm going to share. It could be yours. And even if yours isn't on the main World Solutions blog, I'll still share yours uh, on here and we'll get the word out there but yeah if you go to the world solutions blog and um, you see now we've got three we've got Rosie's right here a look at the look at the lovely sea and you see Rosie's was a uh, Google slideshow and I put the link to it here in case somebody wants to see it like this they can then present themselves because sometimes it doesn't look perfect uh, on on a blog, especially if they're on their phone. It might might or might not work. There's Deacons, awesome solution there. You you definitely want to read Deacons, and of course Zachary, whose first paragraph is just an amazing story. That really you did a great job of hooking me in with that first paragraph, and then to say thankfully this isn't what it looks like yet with a capital Y-E-T. Well done. And a beautiful bibliography, by the way. Um, so we're seeing it. It's happening. If you guys could share these two, they'll get even more views. And look here. The cluster map gives us an idea of, you know, where we're reaching. So far, we're just in the U.S. I'm waiting till it uh, gets out beyond the U.S. because that would be lovely to become, you know, a worldwide... Uh, viewership. Now on here, on our stats, I don't see it, but I used to be able to check and see if we're in the world. But yeah, it's it's going great so far. I'm going to keep promoting because I want to keep it active. Already gotten quite a bit of views, but uh, we can always get more. Am I right? All right. Well, it's that time to check in with you know who for you know what. We're on the 113th random event. Oh dear, Fight Club. 
the first rule of Fight Club is no one talks about Fight Club. And this is one that works better in the classroom. I can't tell if you guardians are going to be quiet or not, and you can't just be quiet at home. So sorry, uh, Zachary, Deacon, Grace, Cadence, Izzy, and Leonard, but uh, we're not going to, I'm not going to make you keep quiet today for 100 XP. So let's do another one. All right, let's see what next one is, 114th. Ah, time for tea. Hello, governor. Top of the morning to you. A random team must speak with a British accent for the entire class. Now, the entire class for you uh, doesn't mean a long period of time. As a matter of fact, the team that gets chosen, any one of you who speak to your parents or your siblings or whoever's at home with a British accent, do that. Try it. Come back into Classcraft, go to the message, and tell me that you did it and how they reacted. If you do that, you will get 100 experience points and 50 quid, which for you Yanks, that means 50 gold pieces. Now, if you don't get back to me by the end of the day, you will start this weekend with minus 20 action points. Yes, you will lose some energy for not trying to speak with a British accent. If you're not familiar with a British accent, look it up on the internet. Listen to some British people talk. Watch a British show. All right, that's your task if you choose to accept it. And the team is Team 2! All right, so I'm looking for Courtney, Trent, Arissa, Xander, Izzy, Charlie, Cadence, Marybelle, and Mallory. If you don't get back to me, you're going to lose 20 AP. Whoo, boy. All right. Good luck, people, and have a great weekend, and get me your links to those PSAs.